What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing a beer from Gold Brewing, and they are out of San Diego, California, and this is their Ube Latte. So this is an imperial stout that is brewed with coconut, vanilla beans, coffee, and ube. It's also a collaboration with Mostra Coffee. It comes in at 10.7% alcohol by volume. No IBUs list in time of review. This bottle is just over four months old. I wanna give a huge thanks, shout out once again to a very good friend of mine and a viewer of the channel, Sierra Hotel, for this beer. So big thanks to him. In the description box, I'll post a link to the Beer Mail boxing video I did that contains all the goodies he sent my way in late last year, um, almost entirely this year. I, I think it was at the tail end of 2023. He sent me an awesome Beer Mail with a bunch of hype beers, and this was one of them, and kind of put it back, you know, towards the back of the fridge because there were other beers from him that I wanted to get to, and you know, you got to be in a mood to to drink a uh, you know 500 milliliter bottle of a 10.7% adjuncted imperial stout and today is one of those days so i'm really looking forward to this one now goal it even says on the side here it says crafted to reduce gluten so they try to uh reduce the gluten in all their beers i believe i think that's the case with this one as well but again it's not gluten free it's just gluten reduced and this one got a lot of stuff in here now ube is one of those uh it, it, it's it's a purple yam that I think originated or was originally found in the Philippines. Um, never had it before, but it's supposed to have like a nutty slash vanilla coconut thing going on, which makes sense as to why it's in this beer, um, because there's already vanilla beans and coconut here. So maybe they're trying to accentuate those characteristics with, you know, the yam. So anyway, let's give it a pour here into the glass. And that looks like fucking syrup pouring in Jesus. I'm going to try to get a hard pour here to get it all, and it has like a purple tinge to it. That is gnarly. Also, let me bust out. I, You know, I tried to get a crazy uh, head going on there. It's not going to probably happen with all the adjuncts and whatnot. Spill it every. That smells fucking gnarly. What's going on? I just smelled it, you know, from a distance. Wow, that smells really, really good. So let me just clean that up. I don't know why I thought I was going to be able to generate like a crazy head pouring it hard or anything. It's on the side, now it's on the inside. Okay, so again, this is you know, 10, 10, 7. There's alcohol sheets. So how does this look? It looks fucking wild. So it's not going to come off on camera because my camera sucks. We, we've established this. It has a purple tinge to it. It 100% has this dark purple tinge to it. Uh, generated zero head. Again, all those adjuncts, probably the... Uh, the ube as well. Um, alcohol sheets around the glass at 10.7. It's pitch black. It poured out like motor oil. Holding up to the light, it's more like a dark brown, but at the light, looking at the light, it just is definitely <laughs> straight out black, and it's going to look like that on camera. Um, yeah, wild. And the smell was like a just like a super nutty smell. Coconut, vanilla beans, coffee, ube. It smells like hazelnut. This smells like Nutella to me. It's huge, rich chocolate notes. Again, no, no cocoa or cacao nibs or no chocolate, but it smells like hazelnut. There's a huge, distinct like hazelnut. Maybe it's just the combination of the coffee, the vanilla, the coconut, and the ube just giving me hazelnut. But this smells like a fucking like Nutella. It's a little bit of like a roasted malt character from the based uh, beer. There's a like an earthiness too, maybe from the ube. It smells delightful, but it smells like this should be a ha chocolate hazelnut imperial stout. Like if it said imperial stout brewed with hazelnuts and cacao or cocoa nibs, I'd be like, yeah, all day. <laughs> My brain is broken right now. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Listen, I can sit here, say a bunch of shit that I am not honest about, aka, yeah, I, I got the vanilla, I got the coconut, oh yeah, ube, yeah, I know. No, chocolate, hazelnut, roasted malt, that's it. it. Smells fucking awesome, just not what I expected. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks again to Sierra Hotel. the fuck is happening right now what is happening
Five out of five. I don't even need to review this beer. This is... I, listen, I did, not, I did not anticipate this beer being so fucking delicious. There are so many things happening in my mouth right now. Let's just go body mouthfeel while I try to decipher what's fucking happening. His body's fantastic. It's full on body. Maybe it's not to like the pulpit rock of the world or like that well works media noche, but it's not far off. It's rich. The body that is not like the, you know, the sweet, like it has a rich kind of mouthfeel. It's almost syrupy and oily, but not quite to that level. It's not like, you know, a fruit smoothie sour, like the pulpit rock and that media noche are where it's like, it's so fucking like it pours out like chunks, but it's straight on full body. And at 10.7%, that's fucking immaculate. Like it's, it's, and it's also surprising. The mouthfeel has a mild carbonation. It is very soft, smooth, and creamy. By mouthfeel are just fucking outstanding. Holy shit. The taste, there is, like I can, the analogy I can make is to a bunch of different, like candy bars and desserts, like Nutella for sure. Right? This is not going to be those beers where I'm like, up front I get this, middle palate I get this, back palate I get No. This is like all over the palate, different spots. Just, it comes and goes. Each sip is different. It's a fucking incredibly rich, decadent, complex beer. Each time I go back, I'm so, like... I, first thing I, I picked up on... Probably because of the coffee, but coffee crisp. Shout out to all my Canadian uh, friends out there, viewers of the channel. Coffee crisp is one of my favorite uh, chocolate bars, right? It's basically just like a wafered uh, chocolate bar that has a distinct coffee flavor. It's almost like you took like a coffee with a couple creamers and a couple sugar and somehow put them into a candy bar. That's what it is. And it's delightful. I love it. It's a fucking fantastic candy bar. We do get them here in Buffalo, New York. A couple different places carry them, so I buy them occasionally. It's like you melted one one of those, threw it in here. But at the same time, if there was like a, a Nutella version of that, that's what's in my glass. But then on top of that, you were just like, fuck it. Let's combine a coffee crisp, a Mounds bar, and then Nutella, smash it together, put in a 10.7% uh, Imperial Stout, and here we are. That's what this beer is, like to a T. Rich chocolatey uh, coconut, rich chocolatey hazelnut, um, and then on top of that, you get that coffee crisp. Like, that coffee's real nice. I don't know what the ube is bringing to the table. I'm thinking maybe, because it is a yam, and now I'm thinking of pumpkin beers. A lot of times it helps out the body, maybe the mouthfeel. Maybe that's why it's a bit thicker. Uh, obviously, the color, like I said, you won't see it on camera, but in person, definitely has, like, a, a purple tinge to it. The one downside to this beer as I sip on it is it's sweet. Yeah, yeah, it's sweet. It's almost 11%. Has all those adjuncts. I figured it would be a sweeter beer, right? This is one of those cases where I don't give a shit. I just don't. I just want to drink it because it tastes so fucking good. And while it's sweet, is it cloying? You know what? By the time I finish this bottle, and I'm going to finish this fucking bottle, this is going to be probably cloying the last four or five ounces, right? But I don't give a shit. This is probably, this This is a beer I'd want to share with one other, per, one other person. We each get, you know, somewhere around like eight and a half ounces. We're fine. But I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to work through this. And I might cap it and drink maybe the last four to six ounces tomorrow or something. But I did not, like all the beers he sent me, they, you know, there are certain ones that like the last one I have from Pulpit Rock, it's the last one I have from his box is the one that's going to, I'm saving to the end because it's, it's fucking, it's, it just sounds amazing. It's like basically a hybrid of a barley wine imperial stout aged in barrels and blended and all this shit. It just sounds amazing. This I thought was going to be good. I've heard of gold before. I've never had anything from them. If this is gluten reduced, this is like fucking amazing. I don't know if this beer specifically is, but that's what the brewery tries. All I know is this is fucking amazing. If you like sweeter beers, you like getting the sticky lips after drinking uh, a beer like this, this is the one for you. Again, the one the one downside I'd say is, is it's definitely going to be cloying, but sometimes when you're rating a beer and when you're thinking about a beer and it's just like, this is doing it for me. I, I did not anticipate this one fucking doing what it's doing right now. I'm getting every single piece of the adjunct, even, even down in the vanilla. Vanilla is giving me, 
you know, again, that coffee crisp, kind of like a sweeter, you know, vanilla vibe. Like it's definitely giving me what I want from the vanilla in this one. Mm. Almost tiramisu is another another way I could describe this one. Dude, this is fucking gnarly. Anyway, um, yeah. Five out of five. Like, I guess I'll do this because I have to <laughs> get a, a, uh, a thumbnail, but also for untapped and Instagram. But let me just tell you, this is a five out of fucking five. Like it is. My first beer from goal, my only beer from goal, and it's perfect score. Uh, it's been, I think, a couple months since I've given a five out of five, maybe a month and a half, something like that. But holy fuck, is this good. And I, and I can't wait for Sierra Hotel to uh, watch this review if he does. Um, him and I chat all the time on Instagram pretty much, you know, multiple times per week. We're always chatting. He's always telling me what he's drinking. Uh, he'll mention, you know, if he watched something that I that I posted. And I told him I got a couple of beers that left from your box and then I'll be done. And I'm like, I'm going to review this one soon and then maybe the next one in the next couple months. The hell was that noise? I just heard something weird. But anyway, these beers that he sent me, vast majority have been awesome. And this one specifically came out of left field because it sounded good, but there's no way I would have told you I'm giving this a five out of five. So I think he's going to be surprised to know that I I love this beer. And I'd I'd love to try, uh, try more from um, Goal. I think they just make great stuff. So uh, price point availability, I have no fucking clue. Like it's California, it's San Diego. I'd imagine this is like 20 to $25 or something like that. Maybe 30, I don't know. But it's a five out of five, so price point really doesn't matter if you're buying a like if, if i give a beer a five out of five and i down line i have a chance to buy it again yeah there's limits but like if this was like 30 dollars a bottle i'd probably just buy one because i know how good it is just to share with other people um and then availability i have no fucking idea with gold like zero like zero idea uh if you've had this one before anything else from gold post in the comment section let me know what you think about it huge thanks once again to sierra hotel he over the last almost year now has uh pretty much you know, he's knocked some beers off my bucket list. He sent me some incredibly hype stuff, and I can't thank him enough from the bottom of my non-100% functional heart. It's about, I don't know, like 80% is fine. We're okay. <laughs> I, I like making hard jokes. It is what it is. Anyway, um, yeah, this is great. It's fucking staining my glass. I got to go wash this. this. And I think that might be like pieces on the side of like probably like the coconut itself. The only thing I would like to say about this one, and this is probably going to get 20 plus minute, 20 plus minute review, 10.7%. I mean, I can tell this is a you know 10 plus percent beer. Slight warming in the chest, nothing on the palate, so there's that. Like I said, it is sweet. Uh, there's really no dryness or any kind of bitterness. It's just a decadent beer. Uh, I will say the one, the one to turn to this beer outside of the cloying is that I am getting a little bit of like roasted malt quality, but like the base beer isn't really a thing here. But again. This is one of the few exceptions where it's like, I don't give a shit. I don't really taste the base beer because what I am tasting from the adjuncts more than makes up for it. And that happens occasionally. I shouldn't say occasionally, rarely. But when it does, I, I, I kind of talk about the same thing. And it's just like, this is, this is kind of, this is like the upper echelon. This is the top tier of what I want from a beer like this. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm going to give it a 4.85 because of this. No, it's a five out of five. It's a fucking immaculate beer. And it's over four months old, and those adjuncts are holding up. Oh, yeah, the thing I was going to say is I wish, I do wish I've had Ube before, so I'd have, like, a little bit more of an understanding. I feel like that hazelnut or that nuttiness character is coming from the Ube. Like, I feel that's what's happening. Um, the other stuff you can explain with the adjuncts, but that nuttiness, that, like, almost hazelnut kind of-esque quality, got to be coming from the Ube. It has to. Otherwise, I'm a fucking, I'm at a loss. But, yeah. I guess the chocolate, I guess... The intense chocolate character is definitely coming from the base beer. So, you know, take that back. I guess the base beer with the roasted malt and the chocolate, it's fine. I don't know. I just, I won't, I won't make this a super long review because that's what I do here. Anyway, if you made it to the end, don't post anything stupid in the comment section like I always ask because it doesn't matter. I just appreciate you watching to the end. Once again, huge thanks to your hotel. If you had this one, post in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about it. I'm going to go drink the rest of what's in my glass, probably cap it and come back tomorrow for the rest. But all of that is going to be thoroughly enjoyed. Maybe tonight. Maybe I won't have it. I don't know. Anyway, cheers.